Let's draw the atomic orbital diagram for cobalt, that's CO. So the first thing we need to do, we need an electron configuration for cobalt. Cobalt has 27 protons, that's its atomic number. And because it's neutral, like all of these elements here on the periodic table, it also has 27 electrons. So we need to write the configuration with those for cobalt. And cobalt's right here on the periodic table. So let's just follow the pattern here to do that. We start off with the first energy level, 1s1, 1s2, that's full. Then we're at 2s1, 2s2, go over to p, 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, p holds up to 6, we got 2p6, 3s1, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and finally we have 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if you add these numbers here on top up, that gives you 27. So we have our electron configuration. Let's use this to write the orbital diagram for cobalt. So here's our orbital diagram notation. And all we're trying to do with both of these things is describe where the electrons are around the cobalt nucleus. So you could think of the nucleus right here, and then these are energy levels. Maybe think of it as shells around that nucleus. So we have 1s1. We put our first two in opposite directions there. 2s2, we get to 2p6, we spread them out first and then we pair them up. We have 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then finally we have 3d7. So again, we spread them out first and then we pair them up. And this is the atomic orbital diagram for cobalt. You'll also see it written like this sometimes. It's really the same thing. It's just written out in a more horizontal fashion. And again, all we're trying to do is describe where these electrons are around the nucleus of the cobalt atom. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.